Hello and welcome. Uh, today I wanted to show you some upgrades that I've made on my son's Razor Quad. Uh, I think at least one of these you've never seen before. So first off, this is the stock version, uh, the 24 volt, at least it was. Uh, the first thing that I did to it was that I upgraded the controller that's underneath here and the throttle with 36 volt versions. Um, I bought these off of eBay from a gentleman that goes by the name of Overvolted Scooters. I highly recommend buying from him. Um, I asked two questions that he answered immediately. He was very helpful. And he makes all kinds of products for these. So typically when you do the 36 volt upgrade, it comes with a few other things like a, another 12 volt battery. So combined with the two that are normally in this, that makes 36 volts. It also comes with a 36 volt uh, charger and some other miscellaneous things that kind of tie it all together. I didn't get any of that. I just went with the controller and the throttle because I knew that I was gonna make mine run on these. This is a Ryobi 40 volt battery. These are typically for yard equipment, things like uh, lawnmowers and chainsaws, stuff like that. So this was actually a pretty easy thing to do. Um, wiring wise, it's just connect the red wire to the red wire that goes to your battery and black wire to the black wire. Very simple. Um, I was able to find somebody on Amazon that makes the, the bases for these. It's a 3D printed base, so it's got the, the clips already in it and the wires just sticking, two wires sticking out of it. Um, and then a bunch of holes in the bottom so you can mount it any way you want. So that cost me about 20 bucks. Um, and then I had to mount it uh, because of the way this battery is, um, the, but the release button's on the bottom so you can't mount it flat to anything or you can't get it off. So I just took that base and I mounted it to a board so it gives me enough room that I can reach underneath it and get it out. The reason I did this is because um, I can just pull it out. When it's dead, I can just pull it off, shove another one in, and off he goes. And then the dead one goes into the charger and I can basically keep him going all day long, which is great. However, there's, a one, there's one but, and it has to do with this particular battery. What I learned is that this battery has a fail-safe safety feature in it, um, and that is that if it, if it draws too much power, it'll shut itself off. Um, so my recommendation is if you're gonna do something like this, uh, maybe try a different brand of battery. Uh, I don't know if all batteries have that built into them or not. Um, it, it'd be nice if it wasn't there for this use. Um, there's lots of batteries like this out there now from different different companies. So maybe try a different one. However, um, if you get a battery and it's like this one where it's going to shut itself off, actually I should tell you what happens when it shuts itself off. Um, exactly what happens is if this is fully charged, it'll run at 41 volts. And when it's fully charged, if you pin the throttle instantly, which is pretty much the only way my kids are at it, um, that's when it shuts itself off. But if they do it gradually, they can get up to top speed, no problem. It's only if they pin it. So I bought two upgrades from the same gentleman off eBay, one of which is a little knob here. Move this thing. Uh, it's a little knob that I mounted here in the front. Um, and that allows me to control the top speed of the quad. And the way it does that is it controls how much voltage it uses. So if I put this in and it's fully charged, I just turn this thing down a hair and that'll keep it from shutting off. And this throttle that I have, it has a digital gauge right here that's a voltmeter. So when I see that the voltage has dropped to about 38 volts or so, then I can go ahead and turn this all the way up and it won't shut itself off anymore. Anyway, all right, so the second upgrade that I bought from the gentleman on eBay is a reverse. And what that does is it turns the normal on-off switch, which is right here, um, it makes it forward and reverse because the on-off becomes the key that's here now. That's a nice upgrade as well. So the last thing that I've done to this is, I need to turn it around for you. Uh, as you can see here, I put on a foot brake. I took the hand, the hand brake off and I put on a foot brake because my little guy, uh, his hands were too small to actually be able to grab the bar and the brake and squeeze the two together. Uh, so he had to reach around it and yank on it, which then with the other hand, he had to keep the wheel from turning. And it just looked uh, like it was going to end badly. So that had to go. So the way I did this is this is a throttle 
pedal for a car. Um, if you Google search uh, floor mounted throttle pedal, you'll find a whole bunch of these. Um, I bought it as a kit, so it came with all the linkages uh, for it. It came with a 36 inch, uh, looks like a brake cable, and that was perfect. Um, it's, it's just the right length because you kind of got to wrap it around to get it to the back brake, so 36 inches is perfect. Um, not a whole lot to it. Uh, you just cut a hole there and mount it. I had to cut the end of the pedal off because if you look underneath this thing, there's a metal brace right here, so you got to you got to get it in front of that, and in order for that to be possible, you got to just take, I don't know, probably about two inches off of it, which I did with a hacksaw. Wasn't too bad. And you got to take some of these bumps off here so it'll sit flat. I did that with a chisel, a wood chisel I just put on there and hit with a hammer. Those came right off. Other than that, it was real simple. Um, screw it together, run the cable. I stuck the cable through the hole that was there anyway for, for the brake line and just uh, tightened it up so this doesn't have to move very much. And it activates that brake. Um, I couldn't find anything online of other people doing that one before, so I had to make, make that one up. But it works really well. You can stop this thing no problem. Um, that's everything that I've done. Um, if you'd like to know specifics on any of it, um, write a comment and I'll, I'll answer it or I'll, I'll make another video just for that. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching.